as many of you know, as I've stated many times, Resident Evil is my favorite gaming uh, franchise. Uh, it's been that way for a very long time. Um, I know I'm not the, uh, even of the... There's, we have these little disputes. Some people are fans of like the four fives and the sixes like I am. Some people aren't as much. Some people like the, you know, even the l later ones, uh, eight and shit. Um, I just, it's just my favorite gaming franchise, and it's been that way. That was what got me into the play. Probably wasn't old enough to be playing that shit, but I was playing it anyway. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it, it was, it's always been my favorite gaming franchise. Movies. I've seen, obviously, the previous movies, and they were eh, okay, I guess, for what they were at the time that they came out. And when I've heard that there are going to be more live-action adaptation, of course, my ears perk up. But then you have to realize, obviously, what time, time frame that we're kind of in right now, and we're in a day and age where it's the worst possible thing for stuff that you love and the visual mediums that you consume or you participate in or you play in terms of video games, you read in terms of the books. If they are depicted by the Hollywood elites, it's probably dead on arrival. You can almost expect it to be. And uh, there is a we, they've, we don't got the entire script or what the concept is going to be. Just a uh, uh, just a. A, a little bit of a little bit. And what we've got from this Netflix live action Resident Evil series is fucking dead on arrival. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, uh, last week at the end of the week, we didn't talk about this on the show, um, but I wanted to make sure we talked about it today. This is, uh, of course, talking about the Resident Evil. This is, uh, where did I get that? AV, AV Club, is this where I'm reading it from? Yeah. Netflix has... And this is what they say about it. Netflix has revealed the cast of the upcoming live action Resident Evil, uh, excuse me, li live action series adaptation. The full cast features Ella Belinsky, Belinska, which is of the Charlie's Angels 2019, which was dead on arrival. Tamara Smart, uh, Sienna Agudong, Adeline Rudolph, uh, Paola nu Nunez, and Lance Reddick. As Dr. Albert Wesker. Jesus Christ. Captain of the Stars Alpha Team, the showrunner Andrew Dabb, is the producer and writer behind the long series Supernatural. Based on a successful survival game series, no, it's not. Not with that black, bald ass uh, Albert Wesker. No, it ain't. <laughs> that ain't it ain't best on a survival game of a, a series of Resident Evil. Uh, the live action series starts nearly three decades is quoting them after the discovery of the T T virus was so 30 years after the discovery of the T virus. When an outbreak reveals umbrella corporations, dark secret, according to Netflix, uh, all other details about the timeline characters names remain under wraps. The first season will consist of eight, one hour long episodes with Mary Leah Sutton, Robert Colzer and Oliver Bourbon as, uh, as executive producers series will expand upon the resident evil universe which started in 1996 becoming a, a defining work for the horror zombie genre and for those of you guys that want to see how they look here it is this is your beloved cast now what's happening is is from what we've picked up and what we do know this is starring Lance, so Lance Reddick is playing Albert Wesker, and I don't know if those two on the left and the right are going to be his daughters, but there are two daughter, daughters that he has um, that are going to be kind of the 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 center, I guess, of, of this whole series. So I don't know if it's following Wesker uh, per se, but this motherfucker don't look anything like Wesker. And yeah... These guys are goofy looking um, in, in itself, but that's Hollywood. And obviously they can doll them up to make them look like whatever, but it ain't no way of changing that black ball motherfucker to Albert Wesker is, is, is not going to happen. So this is what happens, guys, and this is or happened, guys, and this is what you're getting. Yeah, we know it's tokenization. I get it. But this is what, we, what you're dealing with. The reason why they're doing stupid stuff like this is because 
they want to take advantage of um and, and you know capcom whatever selling off the rights or or, or whatever or pr i guess it would be more akin to a um just you know obviously allowing them the rights to make the movie um licensing if you will this is a vanity project you know why i can continue to say that it's a vanity project with these live action depictions and uh, they're just used to advance their career see this is a bait and switch this is the art of it what it is is they want to get things that you guys already know and understand now of course there are black characters that have been associated with the uh with the resident evil uh, uh universe especially if they're going uh art though i read that correctly right yeah they're going with the stars see like they take uh, they have obvious outs I mean, we've seen this with marvel and dc obvious outs and angles that they could utilize to that, that they're, they're black characters that are associated with these uh, uh 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 these these universes and they just don't take advantage of that they, they they simply don't they don't they don't take advantage of that instead they race swap there so what you're going to get is an albert wesker that is not albert wesker He's only Albert Wesker in name. That's it. So what it is, is we want to take advantage of the fact that you guys are more notable. Or rather, you know what Resident Evil is. So they can get to tell their goofy ass story based on maybe loosely, albeit the universe that is. And so they'll assign some names to some characters that don't look anything like the characters that they are. The weirdos are co-signed it anyway. They don't care. They'll accept anything that damn Hollywood gives gives them. Again, like I said in the previous segments, do not allow these weirdos to gaslight you into expecting that something that you've already seen, something that's like video games, a fucking visual medium. You expect, obviously, them to look somewhat close to the characters that, that, that they're playing because the visual medium that it is that you're, you're connected to, and I'm willing to bet most of these guys have zero connection to that stuff that are acting, producing in it, um, and, and what have you. So what they do is they just want to tell stories that this is probably some zombie apocalyptic story that some weirdo wanted to tell, but it was dead on arrival. Anyway, but at least if they could attach it to something that you guys were familiar with, you'd watch it. Doesn't matter that this doesn't look anything thing like it. We still haven't really got the best uh, live action depictions of the of the uh, of Redfields or of um of, uh, of of you know following Leon or any anything of that nature. It, it's just you know they want to tell goofy stories and they want to make sure that, that someone watches it. If this was a completely original property, if this was a completely original property, I see this cast and I'm like, maybe it'll be all right. <laughs> Probably not, but it's based off resident evil. My, my uh, gaming franchise. And that doesn't mean I'm watching. I don't have Netflix, so I'm probably not going to be watching this. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. A lot of people will watch it based upon that and that alone. This is what you're getting. You're getting vanity projects that usually would be dead if they told it isolated from an attached property that you guys are familiar with. This is why, like, for example, with the comic book and the superhero stuff right now, it's so attractive to these people. And instead of doing the the characters justice giving people something that 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 can be digested by maybe non-fans of resident evil but also respects uh people that are familiar with it th instead of giving you that they'd rather give you the story that they want to tell just using that name recognition and the name brand to reel you in you're seeing this with a lot of gaming stuff you're seeing this with a lot of um uh obviously comic book stuff more than anything they're not interested in giving you things that you're familiar with they just want you to watch they shit. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.